This is Shelley Burkholtz. Welcome to Fiberscapes. Thank you for joining me. On this channel, I share my process of creating landscape paintings using yarn and glue on wood panel. I was able to visit Kamaraska in Quebec, Canada recently for a brief stay. I love how far the tide is out. In that time, I started three pieces on site, none of which I could finish in the available time, unfortunately so they had to be completed in the studio. In this week's video, I'll share what I completed on site on this piece. I'll follow up next time with the work I did to finish it up at home. Kamaraska always inspires me. I've returned home this time as before, with many reference photos for other pieces. It's really exciting. Kamaraska is such a beautiful place on the St. Lawrence River, where the tides come in and out. I live inland where there isn't easy access to the ocean, so I get really excited about this. My friend and I set up to paint in quotes of course, I don't use paint, but I don't know how else to refer to the act of working with my medium. Anyway, we set up on the beach facing the water, of course, which meant that the retaining wall and road were behind and above us. A gentleman leaned there against his car with the gorgeous river view, and two art pieces within his scope to follow as well. He was very kind and complimentary to us, as I learned from my friend who spoke with him in French. I do understand some French, but struggle with certain accents. We think this gentleman stayed with us there for about two hours. Occasionally people walked by and he called their attention to what we were doing. They would stop for a while and chat quietly with him. It was very sweet. I've been working on site now for two summers. It hasn't been easy to get used to spectators. But I don't really know why, because everyone I've met in this way has been very kind and supportive. In this situation, with our backs to the road, it was likely that we would meet up with interested passers-by. But we've even been set up on remote country roads at times, where people still slow down or stop their cars or bikes to have a look. There are always smiles, nods, honks, <laughs> if not a little chat as well. There was something I didn't like about how I put in this island, so I went back to vary the yarn some more. I like the clipping sounds. When I work outside, I have to spread smaller amounts of glue because the warm weather and breezes dry out the glue really quickly. If I put more than I can use, I try to notice and scrape it off the board while I still can. Otherwise, a thick layer of dried glue can interfere with the yarn that eventually is tacked on top of it. Isn't this yarn great? I love it. It has a gray base and also some loose random bits. Not sure how it would do for a blanket or a sweater, but it works so well for low tide. That's something I think about actually. There are some yarns, ones I love so much. One I'm thinking of, for example, it's made of pure wool. It would be so scratchy and, and it's stiff, but it, it doesn't unravel. For my work, it's wonderful, but I don't think I could wear it as a sweater. While I'm so grateful for these yarns and others, I do wonder how they could be useful to knitters and crocheters. It seems it must be a small market for these types of yarns. I guess that's why I get disappointed so often, because many of my favorites are discontinued. It's really interesting to me how far the tide goes out. When I think it's out as far as it will go, and the river appears as a thin silvery ribbon, it disappears still further. I enjoy that so much. This is fascinating because I didn't grow up with access to rivers affected by tides. This was new to me just a couple of years ago.
It's impossibly gorgeous here. There's no way I can do justice to the beauty of this place. I feel inadequate, but what an honor and a pleasure it is even to be here and make the attempt. This is all the time we had to work on the Kamaraska shore on this day. And yes, if you're thinking it too, I do see a face with smiling lips. I fix that when I finish this piece at home, so please do join me again next time for that. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your support. Bye for now.